welcome to my channel. My name is Maria and I make content related to fashion, lifestyle, and also religion. So today's topic will be about Christian women, and this actually can apply to all women, to be honest, pursuing men and what the Bible says about the man and woman relationship and how things should work as far as the man pursuing the woman and whether or not it is okay for women to pursue the man. So the first reason is because the Bible scripture, Proverbs 18, 22, and it reads, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Now, if you notice, it says he who finds a wife, not she who finds a husband, but he who finds a wife. And this is the thing, like we have to be very, very mindful of the fact that in the Bible, it writes it out clear for us. The man is to pursue the woman. The Bible makes no mistakes. The Bible is the book of life. And so when it comes to a man pursuing a woman, he is the one that obtains favor from the Lord because he went to go pursue the wife. And once you go to, once a man goes to find his wife and goes to pursue a woman, that is when he is in the full purpose that God has set out for him as far as the relationship between a man and a woman. That's just the first step of just making sure that the man is reaching out and pursuing the woman. Once the man pursues the woman, then he has to again take care of her and do all those things um, as the Bible says. But the main goal and the main thing that I want to emphasize here is you have to be very careful, ladies, about this worldly topic and this worldly acceptance of you are supposed to go pursue a man and it's okay to approach a man. If you realize this is a new thing, back in the day, nobody ever talked about women going to pursue a man. It's just not a thing. And as a Christian woman, you want to take the back seat and you want the man to come and show you and tell you what he's about. Because listen, if you as a woman go to try to pursue the man, his job, now you're already, you both are out of where God has wanted both of you guys to be. So if the Bible says, for he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, that is what you should be following. Do not go and try to pursue a man. It will honestly not work out for you. Um, and honestly, to be truthful with you ladies, men that I have spoken to have told me that it really just makes them disgusted. When a woman goes to try to pursue a man, it's just because men are the hunters. Uh, men are the pursuers. They go after what they want. So if a man is not going after you, it's because he's either taken or he does not want you. That's just the bottom line. But women, please, 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 I'm begging you, do not go trying to pursue a man because that can put, lead you into a very dark place. So the second reason is because the Bible scripture, Ephesians 5, 22, and it says that wives, you are to submit to your husband as you are to the Lord. And if you notice, once again, it is emphasizing that wives, you should submit to your husband, which means that the husband is the leader. Let me just rewind it for you and repeat it again. Wives, submit unto your husband, which means that the husband is the leader. So if the husband is the leader, right? That means that he should be the one to pursue to begin with because he is leading the relationship. He is dictating and allowing things to happen progressively. If it is not for the man reaching out and pursuing you first, there is no leadership. If a man can't even come up to you and just approach you and say, hey, listen, like, you know, I thought you looked really nice today in a respectful way. And just, you know, I would love to get to know you better. If a man can't pursue you and just reach out to you to tell you that he's interested, how can he lead? How can you feel like a man is capable of leading and how do you feel as though you are capable of submitting to someone who doesn't even feel like they can like 
pursue you and approach you and continue to pour into you as a husband should. And so again, we have to just follow what the Bible says. Follow what it says. If it says that women are to submit to their husbands, then that is what God has ordained for our lives and our roles as women and our roles as men. And so, ladies, listen, I just wanted to really come on here and talk about this because it's really honestly getting scary and it's kind of getting out of control. The fact that women are at this place right now where they are falling into this worldly mindset that women are supposed to go approach men and women should go to try to pursue a man. No, not at all. Not in the past, not in the future, not in the present. As a woman, your job is to show up, to listen to show some character and show some, you know, show who you are too. It's not all just about the man. But my point is, is that you are not going to be the one to chase him or to to try to uh, make a relationship happen. No, all you have to do is just be. All you have to do is just be. The man is the pursuer. He is the hunter. And let me just add in too how marriage goes so when a man is ready to marry a woman and a woman may be ready to get married too do you ever see the woman get down on one knee and go buy a ring and go do this that, and the third no and when we do see it we're like girl what you doing like it's it's not it it's just, that's not something that is supposed to happen um because it's just out of order it's out of line it's out of how we should be living period so think about that the next time you as a woman uh, as a christian woman or just as a woman in general want to go and try to pursue something with a man understand that you are out of your gender role i guess you would say and i really don't like using those like gender role things because i just eh, it's cringy um but it's so true in a sense of like where god has ordered us as women to take the back seat and allow a man to pursue us and this is the other thing women this is the other thing ladies why do you even want to go pursue a man? Like, you have to actually ask yourself that too. Like, why do you want to go pursue a man? Because if he was interested, he would have just came and talked to you. It's not your job to do that. What? And it's like, honestly, what it does is it leads you into a place where you might possibly be rejected, either A, because he's in a relationship, or B, because he's not interested. And so it's just best for your case to just... Take a back seat, let things flow the way they're supposed to, just as God has said, and just let it be. So that's all I really want to come on here today and talk about. Again, just emphasizing, ladies, do not, mm, 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 do not pursue a man. It's not never okay for a Christian woman to pursue a man. It's really never okay for any woman to pursue a man. Um, but I'm speaking from a Christian perspective because I'm bringing Bible scriptures into it. And I just want to emphasize again how important it is as a woman to just allow things to flow. And everything will happen as the way it's supposed to. And if that man is the one for you, trust me, God will whisper in his ear and tell him to go approach you. You will not have to do anything to make that happen. All you have to do is just be. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hey, listen, leave me a comment down below. Let me know um, what you think about this topic. If you once felt a way about approaching a man and you thought maybe 
yeah, I should go approach him. And then after hearing this message, you're like, oh, yeah, you know what? Let, never mind. Let me not do that. Or, you know, however you feel about it, I would love to hear below in the comments and I will be interacting. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Bye bye.